was like greed to me, and that never pans out well. And honestly, like without us, I mean, what you got? GM Fairfax workers aren't on strike, but tonight the UAW strike has trickled down to send them home. More than 2,000 General Motors employees at the Kansas City, Kansas plant have now been laid off, essentially. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. They're off the job because the St. Louis area plant they rely on for supplies is one of the three auto plants striking. Fox Wars Malik Jackson is live at the GM plant in Kansas City, Kansas. Malik, we're hearing from GM and the workers now left in limbo. Yeah, Lord and John, I talked to Brandon Crabtree, who's worked here for 21 years. I asked the father of two, what's next? He replied, I have no idea. That gives you insight to the unprecedented nature of what we're seeing across this country. As for GM's part, they say this is proof that nobody wins in a strike. The assembly line stopped and for now workers here at the General Motors Fairfax plant laid off. So I, I don't know, understand why you would not want to take care of the people that make the cars and all the billions of dollars they make is because of us, because of the because of the time and hours we put in. For more than two decades, Brandon Crabtree has provided for his family working for GM. Now the father of a five and nine year old must figure out what to do next. Why not take care of who is making you record profits. That's just, it don't make sense to me why you wouldn't. The UAW contract with GM, Ford, and Stellantis expired last week. Since then, the parties involved eye to eye and none appearing to budge as the union demands their fair share of record profits. They want a 36% pay increase, plus a 32 hour work week with full pay. Something all three companies say is just not feasible. <laughs> Today's idling of the GM plant here comes as another plant in Wentzville, Missouri strikes. But because they make the supplies needed for the Fairfax plant, workers simply can't do their jobs. In a statement, GM says in part nobody wins in a strike and that effects go well beyond our employees on the plant floor and negatively impact our customers, suppliers and the communities where we do business, such as in greater Kansas City. What happened to our Fairfax team members is a clear and immediate demonstration of that fact. For now, Crabtree says he and his fellow union members aren't being selfish. Instead, they're fighting for what they deserve. I'm, I'm ready. I've been ready because I just think, you know, we got it. We gave a lot up and I think it's time that we get it back. It's been long enough. Now, it's important to note these workers will not get paid until this is resolved, although Crabtree says he is optimistic that a resolution will come soon. GM says these workers are not expected to return to this plant until there is a resolution. To read their full statement, you can click on this story at fox4kc.com. John? Tough spot for these workers to be in, at least at the Fairfax plant, Malik. Now, you had a chance to speak with the UAW president. Has he said what's next for these workers? Yeah, he says he's working behind closed doors right now to organize his team members and to develop a plan moving forward. As far as the national UAW team goes, they say if there is not significant progress before Friday, they will order more plants to strike. At the GM plant here in Kansas City, Kansas, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.